Good morning children. How are you all? I hope you all are good. Children, I welcome you all for the new term. Have you all submitted your Hofeli exam papers in the school? Good. Still those who did not submit your papers, kindly submit in, your, in the school. Good. Children, I will ask you some questions from your previous topic. The first question is, a number which has only two factors are called as? Yes, prime numbers. Good. Is one a prime number? No, one is not a prime number. What is the only one even prime number? Yes, good. Two is the only even prime number. Children, how many water bottles are there? Yes, there are two water bottles. Very good. Children, can we find how many pages are there in this book? Yes, by counting the pages we can say how many pages are there. It is countable. Now children, can you say in this pack how many papers are there? Without counting can we say? No, we, without counting the number of papers we cannot say exactly how many papers are there. But approximately we can say there may be 100 or 200 pa papers are there. Isn't it children? In this class we are going to learn how to round the numbers without counting the num without counting the number of objects how can we say the rounded numbers that is, the chapter is called as estimation in this class you are going going to learn how to round the numbers children now we can start to write in our fair note write today's date 20 10 20 Chapter 8, leave one line, write the heading estimation, leave one line, exercise 25, leave one line and write number 1, round off the numbers to nearest 10. After that you have to underline all the headings, okay children, A division, the number is 73, 73 is a one digit number or two digit number children, it is a two digit number, what is in the ones place, 3 is at the ones place and 7 is at the tens place. First we can write the places. Now look at the blackboard children. We are going to round off the numbers to nearest 10. Isn't it? If we want to round off the number to nearest 10, we have to underline the number in ones place. What is the next place of the tens? It is ones. Isn't it? So we want to underline the ones place value. If you want to round off the number to nearest 100, which digit should be underlined? 100. Then what is the next place value? Tens. So tens should be underlined. But here we are going to round off the numbers to nearest 10. So we have to underline the digit in ones place. Now, this 3 is greater than 5 or smaller than 5? Yes, 3 is smaller than 5. As this 3 is smaller than 5, we have to write the nearest 10 as 70. In the tens place, 7 is the result of children. So the nearest 10 is 70. If in the ones place, 5 or more than 5 is there, then we have to write the next 10. What is the next 10 of 70? It is 80. But here in the ones place, 3 is there. So the nearest 10 is 70. So the answer is 70. B division. The number is 67. We want to round off to nearest 10. So the next place value is 1's. In the 1's place, 7 is there. 7 is bigger than 5. Isn't it children? As 7 is bigger than 5, the next 10 of 60 is, what is in the 10's place? 6. So what is the next 10's? It is 70. So our answer is 70. Is it clear? So the B answer is 70. Isn't it children? In the rough column, you can write this 3 less than 5 with pencil. Okay. In the, in the, for the, for A sum, in the ones place, 3 is there. As 3 is less than 5, we are writing the tenses as 7. For the B sum, 7 is greater than 5. So, in the tens place, 6 is there. The next 10 of 6 is 7. So, answer is 70. Now, look at the C sum. In the ones place, 4 is there. 4 is less than 5. 
So we have to write the same tens place value. In the tens place, what is there? Nine. Nine tens are there, isn't it, children? So our answer is two hundred ninety. So our answer is two hundred ninety. When you are rounding off the numbers, in the ones place we should write zero. Ones place should be zero. If we were, if we are rounding the numbers to nearest ten, then the ones places should be zero. If we are rounding off to nearest hundred, then tens place and ones place should be zeros. We can see when we are uh, for rounding the numbers to nearest hundred. Okay, children. So here the answer is two hundred ninety. So the answer for C sum is two hundred ninety. In the ones place we have we are putting zero and nine will remain nine as it is. And in hundreds place two is there. That two will remain as it is two. Okay. Next it is G division. The question is three thousand four hundred twenty nine. So we have to underline the ones digit and above the tens digit we can write t. Now nine is at the ones place value. Nine is greater than five, isn't it, children? So we have to write the three as it is, four as it is. As nine is greater than five, we should write the next ten of two. Next ten of two is three. So in the twos place we have to write three, and ones place will automatically turn into. Zero because we are rounding off the numbers into nearest ten, isn't it? In ten, in tens only one zero is there, no? So we have writing zero at the ones place. Okay, children. Then H division four thousand five hundred sixteen. The first step is underline the ones place value and write tens place above the tens place value. Okay. Now six is greater than five, so we have to write the next ten. Next ten of one is two. Write the four as it is. Write five as it is. Instead of one, we have to write two because six is greater than five. And in the place of six, we have to write zero because we are rounding off the number to nearest ten. Then J division three zero six zero seven thirty thousand six hundred seven. In the ones place, seven is there. Seven is greater than five, so we have to write the next two ones of zero. What is the next one of zero? The next number of zero is one, isn't it, children? So our answer is thirty thousand six hundred ten. Next, Roman number two. Round off the numbers to nearest hundred. To round off the numbers to nearest hundred, we have to write h above the number which is in the hundreds place. Okay, children. If we want to round off to nearest hundred, we have to underline the next digit. The next digit of hundreds place is tens place value. So we have to underline the tens place value. In A question, three hundred forty six. Six is in ones place, four is in tens place, and three is in hundreds place. We have to round off to nearest hundred. So I have written h above three. The next digit is tens place value. Four is in the tens place. So I have underlined the number four. Okay, children. Now the underlined digit is less than five. The underlined digit is less than five. So to write the nearest hundred, we have to write this three as it is. And in tens place and hundred place, we have to write zero because in hundreds, how many in in one hundred, how many zeros are there? Two zeros, isn't it? So in ones place and hundreds place, we have ones place and tens place, we have to write zero. And hundreds place will remain three as it is. Okay, next C question. Four is in the hundreds place, so write four above. So write h above four. Then underline the digit nine in the tens place. Okay, now nine is smaller than five or greater than five, children? Yes, nine is greater than five. So what what is the next hundred or four hundred? It is five hundred, isn't it? As nine is greater than five, we have to write the next hundred. The next hundred of four hundreds is Five hundred. So our answer is five hundred. Can you find out the answer for F and G sum? Okay. Solve it in your notebook. We can check the answers. Okay. F answer. In the hundreds place, two is there. So write h above two. And in the tens place, five is there. Children, if the tens place value is five or greater than five, we can move to the next hundred. Okay. Here exactly five is there in the tens place. So we have to write the next hundred. Here two hundreds are there in the question. So our answer should be 
6,300. But in the thousands place, 6 is there, no? That 6 will remain as it is. Okay, children. We have to change only the hundreds place, tens place and ones place values. Let's see G sum. 100 is, 8 is in the hundreds place and 0 is in the tens place. 0 is less than 5. So, we should not do any change on the hundreds place. So, our answer is 9,800. How many have you got the two answers? Very good. Next, round off to the <coughs> nearest thousand. A division, 4,278. What is in the thousands place value children? Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand. Four is in the thousands place value. So, write T above four. In B question, seven is at the thousands place value. And in F question, T is at the thousands place value. If we want to round off to thousand, we have to underline the next digit. The next digit in the thousands place is hundreds place values. Okay children. So in A question 2 is at the hundreds place value. 2 is less than 5. Isn't it? 2 is smaller than 5. So to write the nearest thousand, we have to write 4000 as it is. If, if in the hundreds place value 6 is there, what, what would be the next nearest thousand? 5. Because 6 is greater than 5. Isn't it? Now, can you write the answers for B and F sum? Right, we can check the answers. In B equals 10, in 100's place value 8 is there. 8 is greater than 5. So, we have to write the next 1000. Next 1000 of 7 is, 7000 is 8000. Okay. Then F equals 10. In the 100's place 9 is there. 9 is greater than 5. In 1000's place what is there? 0 is there. What is the next 1000? 1000, isn't it? In the 10,000's place, 2 is there. Write that 2 as it is. Next number of 0 is 1. So, in the 0's place, write 1. And remaining all 3 digits should be 0. Next, we are going to learn how to estimate sums. Children, what is meant by sum? Sum is nothing but the result of addition. Okay. Exercise 26, question number 1. Estimate to nearest 10. Also, find the actual sum. A division, 57 plus 38. Children, we have to find the actual sum. Actual sum is nothing but in our ordinary method, how we, are, how we will find the sum of the two numbers. In the same way, we have to find the actual sum. Okay. To find the estimated sum, we have to round off the number 57 to nearest 10. Then we have to round off the number 38 to nearest 10. Okay children. And then we have to find the sum. To find the nearest 10 of 57 and 38. The first step is we have to write tens above the digit which is in the tens place. And we have to underline the digit in the ones place. Shall we do? Now children. In 57, 5 is at the tens place and 7 is at the ones place. So, we have to underline the number 7 and write T above 5. In number 38, 3 is at the tens place and 8 is at the ones place. Now, 7 is greater than 5 or smaller than 5? Yes, 7 is greater than 5. So, the next 10 of 50 is 60. What is the nearest 10 of 38 children? Can you guess? Yes, it is 40 because the nearest 10 of 3 is 4. And 8 is greater than 5. So, we should write the next 10. Shall we write? Now children, the nearest 10 of 57 is 60. And the nearest 10 of 38 is 40. Now we have to sum the two numbers. It is 100. Children, see the two sums. Estimated sum is 100. Actual sum is 95. 95 and 100 are close. Isn't it children? So, our answer is correct. Can you understand how to estimate the sums? Okay, good. Children, this is time for homework. In exercise 25, number 3, estimate to the nearest thousand. D sum, 16,278. E, 26,019. G, 31,274. And H, 48,517. I hope you understand today's concept. Thank you children.